Today we are going to talk about the purpose. That's right. If you're not in touch with your purpose, it could be fatal. You say what? See, when you talk about what is your purpose, this what is the reason for my existence? See, a lot of people have what PM Melody calls a shame existence mind. When a child lives in a family of origin that shames them for having been born, they will have a shame existence bind, which makes it really hard to want to be alive. They'll feel worthless about being alive. They'll be in a process of tr constantly trying to die. They will not think they're worth living. This is probably the very, very worst shame bind a person can have. It's set up by parents saying to children that they didn't want them that when they were born they destroyed somebody like people said oh you killed your mother when you were born or you ruined her permanently having a mother say to a child that you destroyed my life by being born will set up a shame existence bind it's the very worst shame bind around this issue of value because it takes away a person's right to be alive God wants me to exist if God did not want me to exist he would not have given me the gift to encourage he would not have given me talents to speak. He would not have continued to keep me alive. That's right. God wants you to exist. Isaiah 43, he says, Fear not, for I am with thee. And then in verse 7, he says, Even, even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. So when mama says, why did God give me a child like you? When daddy said, why can't you be like your brother Michael? When mama didn't like the grades that you brought home because it made her look bad? Well, maybe God made you to be a person that used your hands. Maybe you're not created to use your mind like other people and, and maybe your gifts are in your hands. I know a man named Carrie like that, very slow man, but he could fix a car, I tell you that. He worked good with his hands, so when mama tells you something's wrong and defective and you're flawed, no, there isn't anything wrong about me. I'm beautifully and marvelously made and furthermore, I wasn't created for mama's glory. I wasn't put here on this earth for mama. I wasn't put here on this earth for daddy. I was put here on this earth for God. And God takes counsel with his own self, with his own will. Anybody that's trying to tell you to change and not be who you are, they have the problem. Because God has created you beautifully and marvelously, perfect, above reproach, in his image. You have the right to exist. You have the right to exist and you have a purpose. Your purpose here is to give glory to God. You can walk around the house. My purpose is right here in scripture. I don't know what you think about me, mama. I don't know what you think about me, cousin Charles. This is what God thinks about me. He says, I have created him for my glory. That's right. Everything walking gives glory to God. And your life does matter. And maybe it's time to get to know this wonderful creature that God created you to be. And the more we do that, then the more we can show up the way God wants us to show up. Because see, although we give God a lot of glory by existing, there are some people who would find out more about your existence if you were to do things that got you out there some. Now, everybody wants to be the best that they can be and do the best that they can do, but you know, there's something that you do best. That thing that you do best is usually the talents that God has given you to express the spiritual gifts that he's given you to 
express. 